Hi, well, welcome to Indus Lesson 3. And today we're going to look at Indus Rule number 3. And Indus Rule number 3 asks the question of what happens when a power is itself raised to a power. As you can see here, we're going to consider a to the power m all raised to the power n. And the suggestion is that it becomes a to the power of m multiplied by n. Now let's see if we can prove that. So let's simplify the expression where we have x cubed all squared. Well, what we should remember here is that x cubed is simply x times x times x. We also know that if you take a term and you square it, it means that you have to multiply it by itself. So if we use these two ideas together, we can see that the first x cubed, x cubed becomes x times x times x. The second x cubed becomes a further x times x times x. And altogether, we have six x's all multiplying together, which is the same as x to the power of six. So what we've just proven is that if you have x cubed all squared, the answer is x to the power of 6. And this, once again, confirms the rule that if you have a power raised to a power, all you have to do is multiply together the two indus terms, and that will give you your solution. So let's try a few for ourselves. Here we have a few examples for you to try. And uh, if you could stop the movie now, try these for yourselves. The answers will be displayed on the screen shortly. Okay, question number one says that we have to consider x squared to the power of four. So now if we assume that then this rule number three is uh, accurate, then all we have to do here to get our answer is multiply the two and the four together, and that would give us the answer eight. Similarly with two, three times five, it gives us 15. Number three, f squared to the power of three is gonna be six, so that's f to the power of six. 3 times 3 and number 4 would give us 9, so we're expecting the answer to be g to the power 9. Question 5, d to the 4, all cubed, is going to give us d to the 12. Now we come to that interesting, if we have 2e squared all to the power of 6, then there's two things inside the bracket this time that have to be raised to the power of 6. So what we have to do here is we have to split it up and have to say that we've got 2 to the power of 6 and we've got e squared to the power of 6. Now the e squared to the power of 6 is easy, we just multiply the integers. However, to finish this off, we need to actually evaluate what 2 to the power of 6 is. So 2 times 2 is 4, times another 2 is 8, times another 2 is 16, times another 2 is 32, and times another 2 gives us the answer 64. So this one becomes 64e to the 12. Same thing happens in question 7. We've got 3x to the 4 all squared. So we're going to have a 3 squared and the 4 times the 2 gives us an 8, so we have x to the power of 8. And to finish this one off, we have to work out what 3 squared is. 3 threes, 9. So this one, the final answer is 9x to the 8. Question number 8, we've got the same thing again. We're going to have 4 cubed, and b cubed cubed becomes b to the 9. Now 4 fours are 16. If you take 16, you multiply it with 4, you end up with 64 once again. So this time we end up with 64b to the 9. Okay, hope this has been helpful to you and we'll see you again in the next lesson.